Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us continue playing as that beautiful Blackfoot Nation led by Canyon Runner. So, last time, we had a pretty good time taking out the Huala Pua, Pua, and then the Western Apache, and maybe some of the Navajo Nation, all so that we can someday reform the Legion. Currently, we are doing the East Front, so we get some outposts, as well as. Well, some more construction speed for Alpos, and then we shall integrate the tribe of the Apaches and get cores on their territory and then do the same thing for the Navajo Nation. But next up, Bull regains strength, but there's also some comments that I have to get to. The Great Nation of Arizona, prepare the Legion. Lessons of Warfare. I'm, right now, I'm looking for is... Ooh, we're going to land nice. Any more... Ooh, I keep getting distracted by all these effects of National Spirits. But what I'm looking for is war goals. Annex war goals, puppet war goals against anyone here. And I'm not seeing too much. Slave workshops? I love slave workshops. So, oh, there's a Phoenix Republic. That's good to notice. Phoenix Republic serve the ideals. There's organized command. Enforce discipline. I kind of like that. Meritocracy? Yeah, we'll see. Reward merits. Reward, reward loyalty. Remember Kaizal. Ooh, I like that one. That subject is the north. Uh, outskirts. The south. Shall rise again. Uh, highway crucifixions. Uh, north Phoenix tribe. Cool, cool. Rebuilt. Cool. The Phoenix is tamed. Gains core in a lot of places. Wow. So we can go to the... Oh, Flagstaff, Phoenix Republic. So other than that, gains core in Flagstaff, moves capital to Flagstaff. That's kind of cool. So basically, let's go ahead and read the next focus, and then we probably start justifying on someone else. But let's integrate the tribe. Hey, this one actually had a description. Book, Wap, Cold Desk. So anyways, a couple comments. First of all, someone recommends that I should play as the Shady Sand Republic, which... I promise I will get there someday. It probably won't be immediately after this episode, but or this campaign. But I will get there. I promise I'll get there. In the meantime, we might be able to go to War with Ten Signs, maybe. We could invite him to the Legion, but... If we have to take matters into our own hands, so be it. Right now, we're looking not great. We're looking okay on infantry equipment. Wedge formations are very nice. More breakthrough and soft attack. Let's go ahead and grab Kane. Kane, I think it's Kane formations. More south attack and hard attack for infantry. I love infantry. Special forces expansion. I think so. Ooh, another division. Delightful, my friends. Very, very delightful. Uh, I'm not sure which group. Great Khan joined the North, Northern Mojave Pact. Oh, that's nice. You guys head over here. And then you guys, my spec ops. Uh, special forces. Love it. And then just some more infantry over here. Cool. In the meantime, they can all train if they need to. Because training is good. For our legions. Uh, let's see. Vehicles, yes, please. Spend the caps on that. We don't need any more guns for now, which is good. Resistance is, or it should be, decreasing. Pacification, nice, very good. Got another comment from yesterday is that apparently this. So we're playing in Sweet Home California, right? Apparently there's been several different mod creators or original creators for this mod, so everything is not exactly succinct, we'll say. It is what it is, that's why we kind of don't have too many descriptions for our focus stream, so it is what it is. But let's see, how many civilian factors do I have? I did ask you guys yesterday what our name should be for an intelligence agency, but as soon as we get five, we will create one, and then I will let you know what I thought was one of the best names for the Blackfoot Nation, us, for the tree, So for the agency. We'll get there in time, though, by the end of this video. Let's see, subjugation, stability, war support. Oh, let's get some, some more factories. Navajo slave camps. I love slave camps. Also, that was another comment that I got actually a lot for, regarding yesterday's video. People were surprised that I could actually still put that title I used the, for the first episode. Use that title for a video. You know, it would just casually to enslave them is to save them. People were like, oh, can you actually not get hit with that? So far at the time of this recording, no. I just ha still have that video monetized and still seems to be okay. In the future, it's probably going to put me in a lot of trouble, but oh well, oh well, it is what it is. Let's see, research speed, ooh, civilian workshop, don't mind if I do. And it looks like we now have six, so you, it's, it's a good time to get some resistors and then do some of this. So let's go ahead, slow time down, and the one name that really stood out to me, because there were other, quite a few names there from yesterday's video, but some really good name, but I think the one I'd want to choose is the Legion's Shadow Praetorians. People working in the dark, people in the night, people you don't hear about, people you don't know, the shadow government, the shadow special forces that people hear about. Not necessarily a Gestapo or anything like that, but that's Praetor the Praetorians. Mm. 
anything that says Kaiser or the Legion here. Maybe an eagle, maybe more like a bull. We want a bull. That's a lion. That's a, not really a bull. That wouldn't really fit either. That really doesn't fit either. Mm hmm. Policia. Uh, I don't think the KMT would fit either. Let's go with that, just because it looks like it's global, and we will be a global force. Cool. Agency is being formed. That was really cool. Oh man, I can't remember. I remember. Okay, so when the person, or oh, we labeled our soldiers as the legions, shadow Praetorians. I forget in Rome Total War. There's this one unit that was like, if you were Roman and you had a high enough tech level or whatever, or building level, you could make this special unit that was like guys all dressed out in black and they had like two HP or something. It was really cool. I forget exactly what the name of that unit was. Uh, let's do Navajo War Camps because that looks pretty good for more arms workshops. But uh, man. I that's what it reminds me of. Those units in Rome Total War 1, which is the first Total War game I've ever played, actually. I forget the name of those units. They were, they were like, really special. You didn't get that many of them when you made them, but they were really good. Ooh, Scavenger's Triumph. Old World Planning? Okay, not bad, not bad. Interesting enough, but yeah. The Shadow Praetorians remind me exactly of that. Call for raids, manual prospectors. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Demilitarization, as well as an end to slavery. <clears throat> Do they not know who they're working with? We've allowed them into our lands to tend to the slave field so that its slaves get hurt. They may help them out. But, still, do they not understand who they are messing with? They demand demilitarization. Do you know what we're going to do to the Phoenix Republic? Do you know how many slaves we're going to end up having? Uh, cool. War camps. I love war camps. Enslaving the nation. Subjugation. I think subjugation looks pretty nice. Less manpower by getting more stability and war support. We could always use a little bit more stability in our lives. 1.34? It's okay. Not bad. Uh, anything here? More stability? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that now. It's probably actually for the best if I do it now. Really max out that stability for now. We got some more divisions. Uh, infantry equipment. We're not going to lower for now because we will need some more when we do go to war with these guys, which is almost immediately. Now, we should be able to attack pretty darn well, and I'm going to go ahead and start focusing on these guys over here. Another 115 days. We can go to war by April 11th. Not bad. Give their guys some time. If we mass assault with our soldiers, I think we, sh we should be able to do pretty darn well. And that's a lot of that's a lot of manpower already. Like we are only on ra raider bands, so not bad. Patrick Hayes, Robert Solomon, seducer. Nothing says the Legion like a seducer or Babcock. Let's get a little kissy here. We're gonna kiss these enemies until they're all slaves. Combat language. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and move on in. Have a good time with these ten sons. Ten signs. Sun signs. Oh, they're actually attacking me. Well, that's different. Well, not really, but that's okay. Come down here. Let's circle them if you can. Got a couple, another extra division. We have a little bit more subjugation, which we love, 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 love. Oh, we're actually back at the top. And we should do so a little bit of slavery. Just, just a little slavery. Just a little bit. Just, you know what? Actually, probably... Oh, wow, look at all that stability we got. We are at war... Oh, if we go to war, we get 70% stability... We still have Vengeful Retribution, which we need to get rid of, but that's okay. Uh, it is 2277. Let's actually hurry this up a little bit. Oh, we couldn't cut him off. That sucks. That's all right. How many men have we lost? 148. Legion's still there, kind of. And the tribes versus 1,000? Not bad. I'd say it was pretty good. So far, we get some Cult of Personality, so more Special Forces Multiplier. And Resistance Growth in our states goes up, which hopefully no one takes us out. Let's be real. Let's be real about that. Hmm. It's a lot of stability. I like it, though. The promise of loot, that's pretty good to do as well, but we don't have the political power for it. Huh, so rejection of automation, that's going to really hurt us for a while. Civilian factory construction speed is so bad. Ventral retribution is not bad, actually, but stability goes down, even though we have maximum stability. Disorganized command, holy crap, why does that go up? The great internal betrayal, costly title, or the life of Kaiser himself is greatly instilled within the ranks of the Legion. Paranoia and fear is still coursing through the command. Holy cow. Wowzers. Lightweight metals, nice. Anything for industry at all? Oh, yeah. Give them more research speed. All right, research speed, construction speed. Oh, technocracy. We will have to deal with them later on. But we are civilized, so I'm not too worried about that. As long as we get enough piercing, we'll be fine. And we have some slight slavery. How about a Navajo network? Network? Network. Nice. Thank you, Ten Sons. Your contribution will greatly serve the Legion. That's a time go on, though. Ah, we have a ship. Beautiful. Go ahead and train. Hopefully you don't die on your way as you train. Oh, he's actually a sea wolf. Submarines. Oh, okay. That's just 
Very interesting, Amos Morgan. Very interesting. Good luck. Let's make sure he has enough supplies to actually heal himself. Yes, he does. And trap plant Texas. Scavenger found something. Cool. More research speed for six months. Delightful, my friends. Delightful. Go ahead and do that as well. Do we need anything else here? Maybe a few more support companies. That'd be nice. Uh, promise of loot. Let's go and do that too. I love loot. But I love winning more wars a little bit more. Secret language. Very cool. Let's go ahead and grab that for even more research speed. And we'll be able to go to war within two months. Yeah. I can add. Usually. Shady Sands Republic looking pretty thick. They took out the Desert Rangers or the Grabber Territory. Wow. Antelope tribes are being very aggressive. The Brass. Oh, God. The Brass Empire. I've seen this once before and it looks awesome. Navajo Networks. Oh, my gosh. Still have to play as them. I, ah, ah, I'm going to focus a lot on probably... At the time of this recording, I'm probably going to focus quite heavily on Shattered Wasteland. Not Shattered Wasteland. Sweet Home California. Three years of Navajo slaves will join an army. Great. I love slave armies. But yeah, I really want to focus a little bit more on Sweet Home California just because I don't know how long the mod is going to be developed for. So I better take advantage of it now than later. Special projects, of course, to try to get more stability, which is fine. So we have a lot of good stability for now. Oh, it's technocracy doing well. We are going to need to research next some anti-tank. Because I don't trust what anyone is doing down here. Especially a technocracy under Head Dr. Halvor. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me, I just had a little wee. A little wee moment. Mm -hmm. oh, we could grab that. I'm kind of tired of seeing them. this pop up. So just going to grab it. In the end, we're just going to build a lot of infrastructure everywhere. So, that's what always happens in every campaign. I build roads because, well, all roads lead to Blackfoot Nation. Flagstaff. Probably Flagstaff, to be honest with you, in this in this campaign. We can grab some more things there, 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 there. Because, honestly, at this point, we can't really make factories. So, basically, we're just going to take them away from people. And by take them away, I mean conquer people, which means the factories are going to stay there. But the people's lives will not. Cool. Uh, Navajo labor. I love bonus to industry tech or industrial tech. Ah, four, wow, four more divisions. That's really nice. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a great job. Actually, do we need planes? We might. Ah, six biplanes. You know, that's more than I thought we had. I love it. We reject automation, but we love manually controlling our own planes. Beautiful. Oh, army speed's not looking bad. Red Sun City. Get ready, my friends. Get ready. They do have a little bit of armor, which is not good. And some spec ops, but... We should be able to do okay as long as we manually do this. Smoke signals, nice. Let's go ahead and grab this. And get some dynamite, too. Don't forget about that. Three. Two. We should be good enough. One. Now, they're not attacking us, which is fine. If I could, I'd like to come in here, but let's shorten this little thing first. You guys help out. You guys help out. Very nice. Very good. Shorten up the line just, just a wee bit. Ah, Henry Harrison. Do you have an upgrade for us, my friend? Oh, Cutting Desert Fox? I think so. And then Night Person. I love Night Person. I love Awareness. Ooh. Do these guys automatically get recon? They have recon companies on them. But for this land doctrine specifically, I forget this path down the land doctrine. We get more breakthrough. We do not get more recon. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that person. Just because we can't just max out recon. Doing waste, wasteland tactics gives you more recon. But for this one, it does not. Which is fine. Whatever. Oh, the water of life. Great. Get 12 more water and more monthly population. Nice. That's actually really good. All right. Let's see if we can do this. So one guy is going to come there. But then really you guys are going to come over there. One guy's going to come over here. But really it's two dudes doing that. But really three. Plus one as well. So. See what you can do about that. Thank you. Oh, they already won. Beautiful, my friends. And they're attacking us. Well, good for you. Old world planning is gone. So be it. So be it. Well, it looks like they know what's going on. Hmm. Disappointing. If we just tried a general attack, would we be able to win? We might be able to. Cult of personality? Strong. All right. Blank. The strong right flank is a tactic designed to overwhelm the enemy. Concentrating forces on the right flank will allow them to break the enemy's left flank, and they roll up the line and attack the enemy from the rear. I love 10% more breaking. God dang. Cult of Lupa. I don't like the way you look. And this is why we must get rid of you. Degenerates must be put on a cross and shown as an example to the wasteland. Good. Now, we, will be, we won't be able to win every battle. 
But so far, it seems like we're doing pretty darn well. Hey, look at encirclement! Well, they were encircled. They're gone now. Patriotism. Metal working. Very good. I'd love to do that, so let's do that first. Because we might run out of supplies. Actually, we're not. We're looking really, really, really good now. But we need to get some dynamite. I don't want to forget dynamite. Dynamite gives you so much more soft attack. And I'm using divisions without soft attack right now, which is not, really not good in my mind. Really not good. Uh, we don't need that right now. Research speed would be bad. Do we need? We don't need more resources. I mean, that manpower. We're about to get more manpower too. Like this is, this is nice. Integrate the nations. Bilk nav quart desk. God, this is amazing. Mm, if we can cut these guys off, that would be, uh, I think, quite ideal, honestly. If you could, please and thank you. Don't always forget to say please and thank you. Sometimes it could really help you out. Aid is Claiborne New Hammond. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm actually probably going to... I can't lower this any further. I was going to lower it, but I guess I can't. Settlement Builder. Uh, we're going to take from people. I wanted to take that, but you have dockyards and military factories. Uh, Cam Pusher. Less organization, more war support. No. No. Settlement Raider. You know what? I'll probably choose this one eventually, but let's wait first. Let's do that one. Vacuum tubes. Very good. Very good. Grab some of that. Ah, if you could be so kind. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Ah, beautiful. Cut all these guys off. There's no supplies coming in. They shall perish like the dogs and degenerates that they are. Canyon Runner shall see to their destruction. 3,000. That's not much. We've lost 550. Acceptable casualties. Absolutely acceptable. Any other upgrades? Yes. Henry Harrison. Great general. Great, great general. Sniper. Uh, recon when entrenched. You'll get 1% more attack and defense. That's really basically nothing. You get more recon when entrenched. But if you get out of your position, you're going to lose this. Let's go with awareness. Here. Uh, gunslinger. Infantry attack. Defense. We're going to go with more attack. Screw defense for now. It's all about that attack. Two divisions. Red Sun City. Great. And then Cult of Lupa. That'd be a great thing. Integrate the nations. And then the bowl regains strength. 5% more stability. Stability for the nation. Beautiful. We have lost less than, less than 600 so far. Pretty good. They lost over almost 6,000 themselves. So casualty of 1 to 10. Glorious, my friends. Decode signals. Well, we are poised to strike again, my friends. We'll see what happens up. We got a lot of army XP, which I love, 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 love. Get better reverse rate. Scavengers triumph. Great. As they should. What's sex schematics? Nice. But I'm not using power armor. We don't believe in that here. We reject automation. Very good. Oh, we're going to need some electricity too. That's not good. Mm, do that for now. And then do that. And do that. And then do that. That, that, that. Oh. There you go. Yeah, we're going to need some electricity. Wow. Look at that manpower. That is a bit ridiculous so far. This is a fun nation. Really, really fun nation. Cool. Alright. I wonder how long it's going to take for us to go to war with the Cult of Lupa. They even have some resistance here. They took out enemies for us. Merely 20 more days. The bow regains strength. Nice. The Great Nation of Arizona. Lessons of command. Lessons of warfare. That would be good to do. Because we want to finish up this land auction as fast as possible. Get some more army XP. Thank you. I uh, don't need to see drastic measures. We'll be fine. So, updated equipment. No longer get that. That's fine. We lose a little bit. Get some more cats for now. Public projects. Great. Get that one too. Beautiful. Do we have any extra planes? We might have a few triplane attackers. I think so. Now, we'll probably lose all five attack planes for now. Probably from the drug trade. Pass me a hit. I can't remember. Uh, in Fallout New Vegas, did the Legion approve of drugs? I, I can see that Kaiser would say that they're pretty darn degenerate. Yeah, that's why he didn't take any medicine. What do you think? Sh should I remove this? Like, chems legalized? Yeah, we get money from it. Maybe we should ban chems. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Should I ban chems? Does that make sense? 
I think it makes sense, but I want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. Ah, dynamite, yes. All right, here's another comment. What do you think Canyon Runner, who wants to reform the Legion, would do? Would he grill his enemies? Or would they make them explode into t thousands of pieces of degeneracy with frag grenades? Let me know. I can kind of see that he might use grenades, but you know as a torture device. We can crucify people, but... Hmm, that, that's actually a good question. What would he do? What would Kaisar do? What would WWCD? What would Kaisar do? In these trying times. Okay, so we can go to war with them. They have a thousand man. They have less than ten divisions. Okay. The Legion's coming back. We're getting the Legion back together. Hmm. Uh, after them, ranchers? Hmm. Maybe straight down into Mexico? Might as well. Oh, wait, we're also just fighting on Pecos. Whoops. And yes, Big Chungus does say hi. Lessons of Warfare. Survival training, which is okay. War attrition. I kind of like less division training time and more population. Warrior spoils. Less than Encore manpower. Better division recovery rate. Lay the land. I like the recon. Even though we're not really emphasizing recon in this one. Weapon maintenance. More reliability I like. Cultivate the Contubernia. Uh, I want to go with the right side, I guess. War spoils. War of attrition. Slave army. That just seems kind of fitting. And also, I think with this campaign, I'll probably go with Slavers of the Waste. I think that just makes sense for us. That just seems to make sense. That seems like something that we would do. Cool. Vehicle designers. Um, We might use tanks. We actually might use tanks in this campaign. We'll see how far we get. Heavy ships. Just go and do that one. It's fine. I mean, there's like no resistance here at all. Oh, no. I can't I can't see that. That sucks. Uh, losses? Well, 900 some. Pretty good. Pretty good. As you can tell, I'm not really worried about uh, the strength of our enemies. Even if we can't win or pierce them, we still find ways to win. And before we win, let me just go ahead and put on some dynamite. We already have a few pieces of dynamite, but we're going to wait a little bit. After this, Pecos Colony. Thank you, Cult of Lupo. Thank you for your factories. We will put them to good use. War of Attrition, very beautiful. War spoils. We get less non core member, which, which sucks. But we're going to core a lot of things anyways in the end. But we get more division recovery rate. We want one of the strongest, most powerful armies the Wasteland has ever seen. Ever seen. Got to get more capital growth. That's always good. And a strong right flank. Yes. Ah, oh, break through 10% more. Yes, please. Military engineering, more defense, more max entrenchment, delay doctrines. Good. Also, that was another comment from yesterday that I forgot to address. Someone wants me to play as Good Springs. Actually, probably more than one person. What even is this? Is that by Trudy? I've never played as this. I think they have a generic focus. Yeah, they have a generic focus tree. I mean, if they were to get a unique one, I probably would. Maybe I'll still play as them, because I have played uh, generic nations before. But they seem kind of difficult to play as. They're already out of manpower, too. Uh, but they're not impossible. I could make it work, and... Oh, well, they're probably going to die now. But you can almost make any nation work in Old World Blues just because you can core stuff if you wait long enough. But I'm sure there's exceptions where we can't do well. Lock Reed schematics? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Great. And we should grab more research speed with simple circuitry. Actually, how much longer do we have with Pecos? I want to train my guys up. 20 days. Are you guys just going to do it, I guess, for now? Let's see. Cultivate... The Contubernia. Yes. More organization and less organization loss when moving. Oh, wait. The, the Rangers are back. Are you a puppet of the Shady Sands military state? Okay. I'm not sure how they came out, but... Who is this? Oh, they're allied. Okay, that makes sense. Desert Rangers. I played it already as a Desert Rangers twice in uh, my campaigns, which is very cool. Very cool. I like playing Desert Rangers. They're unique. I'd say medium to strong nation. They're pretty, they're pretty strong. Let's grab that. Do we need anything else here? Not really. We need more energy. We could use just a little bit more stability for now. Uh, I only have so much political power, I'll do that first. And then we'll do prioritize living standards once we get a little closer to 70%. percent that will be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Let's get ready. And then we gotta go to the ranchers soon enough, so we gotta go pretty darn quickly here. Let's see what happens. No one. Alright, now unleash hell on the enemies. Wilson Brotherhood is she. Western Brotherhood of Xi. No, Western Brotherhood declared war on the Xi. So we're struggling here a little bit, actually. That's not good. That is definitely not going to cultivate them. Good. And an Arizona Slave Army. 
We get less division attrition, less heat attrition, and better supply consumption. Nice. Alright, kill these guys off. They must be doing like... Oh, they're, des they're definitely doing last stand. Look at that. Look at their strength. Oh, that is beautiful. That is nasty. That is so beautiful and nasty at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at their strength. Oh, their organization isn't really going down too much compared to their strength. W when we attack, we literally attack until they, like, almost all die. That is just... That fills me with so much pride and joy. Oh. I love the Legion. Commando. Uh, no, not robotics. Gun nut. That's what we want. Just attack as hard as can. He's good on attack. Five and one, three and five, four and one, four and one. We actually make sure, got to make sure that all our divisions are actually the same though. So first legions, you guys. No wonder we weren't winning in some areas. Uh, got Legion remnants two. Which one is the best? Why is it two? Two? Well, they seem okay. Riders. We don't need slaves here. Well, the slaves will learn their place. Nice. Goodbye. Now it's going to cost us a little bit more goods to get that done, but they're pretty much dead now. The enemies are pretty much dead. Arizona Slave Army. That's what we like to see. The Great Nation of Arizona. Hopefully we can make that. That'd be actually really cool. Can we become Arizona? I would love to see Arizona. I don't think I've seen Arizona in Old World Blues yet. Obviously we have the NCR. Um, kind of the state of Utah if you play the Mormons, which is always fun. But I don't think we've seen that nation just yet. Lots of strength over here. And the Spec Ops are going to do their best to hold the enemies at the choke points. Yeah, I mean, they are veterans. We'll definitely see what happens. Tiberius' Wrath. Let's, let's let time go on just a little bit. To, if they come into an area, that's fine. As long as the infantry can do well, that's all that matters, in my opinion. Good. Let's keep making more of these guys. The Praetorian God. Oh, hopefully we can actually make you bigger now. That's why. Uh, uh, I remember back in my day, when you played Old World Blues, you could make him 40 combat width. But nowadays, you can't. Big sadness. Big, big sadness. Empty tank, we'll need that too. That'll be fine. And then dogs? We don't have dogs yet. Good. The Great Nation of Arizona. Prepare the Legion. Stability and war support? Don't mind if I do. So no, but vehicles. West Tech. We had, did get Lock Read, right? Yes, we did. Fighters. Now that looks perfect for us. I don't know if we can get heavy fighters or long range fighters in Old World Blues. But, or I guess we could get carrier fighters. But, you know, let's grab that one. Military engineering, great. More entrenchment, more defense. And let us finish the, this with the Legion. Less combat with so we can throw another battalion in there. Uh, even for Ghoul Infantry Platoon 2, enable the tactical breakthrough and better organization loss when moving. <sighs> it's good to be a legionnaire. God, now I, I really sort of feel like playing, was it Caesar 4? Kaiser 4? Oh, Sierra Games game, I think. After them, I think we're going to go to war with two sons. No, I don't want to increase the, the border with these guys. We'd probably take out the technocracy. We can't allow them to live. If that's the case. If, oh, I can't train anymore. That's us. Three more divisions at a time. That is actually okay with me. Let's see what we can do. They attack. Oh, they, I knew they would attack that way. With both armies attacking at the same time, we might be able to win. I say might just because the ranchers are actually not that easy to beat. Because they actually have a great amount of manpower. They got a good amount of equipment. Wow, we are attacking with extreme ferocity. Holy crap! That division is just going to die here. Oh, they died! They're literally dying on the field. Oh my god, look at that. That is brutal. Oh my goodness. I love it. Armaments? Yes. Get machetes? Oh yeah. That is... Oh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this campaign. I'll be honest. Like, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Just watching your enemies literally just get vamoosed. I'm not sure how to put that. I don't think Canyon Runner would say vamoosed. But, oh my god, look at that. Oh shh. Their, their strength goes down faster than their organization. In some cases. That's insane. That is so good. Did our spec house get pushed back? Eh, not yet. 
Uh, I want to see how many divisions or ma how much manpower we've killed off of the enemies. Oh my god. Look at that Spec Ops division. Oh, I'd hate to be them right now. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, look at this division where my mouse is. Oh my god, the strength is just... Oh, oh my god, that's amazing. Intensive labor. So we get some cheaper, quicker infantry equipment production times for 90 days. And we get lose some manpower, but we get uh, arms workshop out of it. It's a trade-off. It's definitely a trade-off. Keep making some of that, keep making some of that, keep making some of this. We need more resources. Because god dang, this is... Mm, I love it. Are we justifying anyone? I can't remember. Oh yeah, technocracy. My mind is slipping as I'm recording this, so... Mmm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is not McDonald's. I don't think we have a wasteland McDonald's here, but I think I'm loving this. Mmm. Let's go ahead and do this too. We're... Just get... We are a nation... We're an army with a nation. Ah, scavengers triumph. The ranchers are gone with intensive labor. Great, a step into the future. More factory up, up for a couple days. How about we do Phoenix must burn? And is there, how many waterways do we have around here? Mexico, one, two, three. Okay. Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay, sure, why not? We must be prepared against these folks. Good. Let time go on. If you need to train, which I hope you don't need to train too many people. Some, of course, but not too many. Train. All. Oh, the military state looks really cool. Brass Empire looks really cool as well. Everyone. Legion remnants. Oh, we have one. And slaves. Frumentari. I like the Frumentari, but let's assimilate everyone into what they need to be. All right, let's take a look at this. So, dynamite looking pretty decent right now. Infantry armor looking pretty decent as well. If I could, or if I may be so bold. Yes. Can we get some recon over here too? Might as well. Ah, uh, recon one, nice, anti-tank. We're gonna be running out of anti-tank for a while, that's okay. We gonna get some dogs eventually as well. Uh, recon, we can get more recon on a recon. But let's grab a machete gladius. I think that would probably be one of the most fitting things that we could do. And then we'll build up some stuff. Oh, I don't know. There, perhaps? Utobithia? No, it looks like they probably won against Good Springs. Cool. And lessons of command. We get political power. Glorious. Glorious. And we go to war by whenever we want. Nice. Actually, how is our deficit of anti-tank doing? It's slowly going down. Not bad. Uh, can I spare anything? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. We need more planes. We need more close air support. And we can go to war if we really want to. I have a good feeling these guys are going to get hit pretty hard. But that's just me. Oh, if you want to move in, go right ahead. If you guys, you guys keep these under control. You know what? Let everyone attack. See what we can do. We might not be able to win or push immediately, but we'll see what happens. Uh, 48. You guys are moving in pretty nicely. I just kind of wish you'd keep on moving, though. Old Vegas. Yes, do that as well. Legions of Command. Lessons of Command. Losses are probably not going to be great. Lessons of Command. Serving the leader. Serving the ideals. Meritocracy. Enforce discipline. Lose population. I kind of like that one. Reward merits. We get more max planning, but more planning speed. Uh, I like this one a little bit more. You get more reinforce rate, recovery rate, and org organization rate. Let's go serve the leader. Let's try that one out. Let's try it out. Why not? How much manpower do these guys have? Because if they don't have that much... Because uh, I don't want to keep attacking and losing, so let's, let's wait. You guys hold. Because. Ah, good. Good. I want to do this. You get to Old Vegas. You get right there. We're going to attack again. Oh, they caught me. They don't like that. Go. We just encircled six of their, their divisions, and they can't do a single god dang thing about it. Beautiful, my friends. Got plenty of caps now, though. That's really nice. Let's run just. You shall be next. 45 days, that's pretty good. Alright, well, they died. Go 
Go, go, go. Nice, it looks like we can get another army now, too. If you could just cut down here... That would be awesome. And you know what? You're not gonna move. Spec Ops, do your thing. Oh, they want to leave. They want to leave so badly. Not today. Awesome. Attacking from the butt. Good. We pin them down, and basically they're completely trapped by themselves. Ah, oh, no longer get slave workshops. I love slave workshops. Let's see. Anything else here? Sell some added equipment. We could serve the leader. Good. Enforce discipline. We lose some population, but that's fine. Recovery rate. Army organization. Recovery rate. Great. Great. 14 divisions. Go. Die. Another division. Don't mind if we do. And 12. 12. Pierre. I'm not sure if that's really a legion name, but that's just me. He's a gun nut, though. And that's what we like about him. He's a gun nut. Frogmen. Well, the Almaz just come down here. Beautiful, my friends. We are doing great. Ah, technocracy. Could not stand up to us. They may say they have better technology, but truly, they do not. All right, so I'm going to separate you guys, because I want all of you guys right here. Because we're going to have this one, two waterways. That's going to have to be dealt with. And then after that, we might take out the enemies... Called the Phoenix Republic. That's a good turn into a quick campaign. But anyways, we're going to end this episode here because I think it's gone long enough. And we've done incredibly well. If you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we explore what Megalopolis 1 really is. What the heck? Have a great rest of your day.